Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Wine with Bee. My name is Bailey, and we still have a fluffy Zoe the Multi Poo. She would like to say hello. So, how's it hanging guys? How are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? Are you guys excited for today's movie and wine review? I do have an announcement. I have something super exciting planned to come to the channel pretty soon here. And so you guys just get excited about that. It's going to be super fun. But anyways, let's just jump into today's movie and wine review. So today we're going to be drinking a Georgetown Winery Cabernet. This wine is special to me because we drank this wine at my brother and my new sister-in-law Carly's wedding back in October 2019. I saved a couple of the bottles and this is one of them. So of course this wine has like a little special place in my heart because we all drank it and danced the night away and that was honestly probably one of the best days of 2019 for me. We all had such a blast at the wedding and everybody really, really enjoyed this wine. So let me pour myself a glass of this really quick. And we will be using a Harry Potter glass today because I'm not to give a spoiler for the review yet, but there may or may not be several actors who were in Harry Potter, so we're gonna be using the Harry Potter glass. Ravenclaw for life though. I did plug this wine for you guys. Um, you can only get it in Texas. You can also go to the winery in Georgetown and visit and do a wine tasting and do all that fun stuff. But you can find it on my website, you can become a club member if you really did want to try it. Or, you know what, if you guys are in Austin, just take a little day trip and go do that. That sounds like something I want to do too. Who wants to come with me? So, giving it a little taste test. This one's super smooth. Like I said, everybody at the wedding really enjoyed it. Texas wine, we love Texas, Texas forever. So, head out to Georgetown or go to the website, join the wine club, whatever floats your boat. But let me know if you guys do try it and if you do like it as much as I do. Okay, so for today's movie, we will be reviewing Netflix's Enola Holmes. This movie came out in September of 2020, and let's just go down the scoring, and then we'll talk about casting, we'll talk about the movie. Acting quality, nine out of 10. This movie had a stacked cast, really, really awesome. Millie Bobby Brown, she's a star, but we'll talk about the cast after. Plot development, seven out of 10. This movie is a side story or another story that is in relation to Sherlock Holmes. Enola Holmes is Sherlock Holmes' little sister, and so it kind of follows her. So if you've ever seen any of the Sherlock Holmes movies, you know they're like detective work movies. The plot was really, really good. I really, really liked it. Originality, 6.5 out of 10. Obviously, like I said, it's like a spin-off of Sherlock Holmes, so it's it's original in the sense that it's not about Sherlock Holmes, but it's also a spin-off, so you, you kind of already, you're getting yourself into in, in terms of what kind of movie you're gonna be watching, so points dropped a little bit for that, but honestly, the movie was a pretty original movie. Genre, this was like a crime adventure movie. Ron Tomatoes gave this movie a 91%, so that's pretty high for Ron Tomatoes, so. Let's see what I give it. Would recommend seven out of 10. I think that this was a fantastic movie, really great for kids, family movie, kind of a good like tween, teenage movie. Which brings me to overall score. The average score is a 7.3 out of 10. So really above average here. I really, really enjoyed this movie. Okay, jumping into casting, like I said, Millie Bobby Brown. We know her from Stranger Things. She plays Eleven. This is kind of like her first big role in a movie. We really haven't seen her much stuff besides Stranger Things, but she killed it in this role. I love her character in this movie. Her character had a lot of character development that happened throughout the movie, which is obviously something that makes the movie better. Then her brother, Henry Cavill, aka Superman. He plays Sherlock Holmes and it's kind of an interesting take because he's not the main character and obviously you've seen a bunch of different people play Sherlock Holmes over the years. It had just kind of like a different vibe because the movie wasn't, he's not the main character. His little sister, Enola Holmes, is the main character. Then we have Helena Bonham Carter. She plays Enola's mom. She's in a ton of things, but I'm just gonna call out that she's Bellatrix is strange in Harry Potter, which is why we are drinking out of a Harry Potter glass. And then there are also two other Harry Potter actresses in this movie. We have Fiona Shaw, who in Harry Potter plays Harry Potter's aunt. And then we have Frances de la Tour, and she plays the headmistress of the Bobatons in the Goblet of Fire movie. Okay, so talking about the movie, this movie, like I said, is the spin-off of Sherlock Holmes. So it follows Enola Holmes, Sherlock Holmes' little sister, and it kind of starts off as a mystery where Enola Holmes' mom has gone missing. Her mother has also taught her like all these amazing skills. Like some of the skills are like fighting that she learns from her mother. But anyways, so the story starts off as a mystery and Enola Holmes is trying to find her mother. You can kind of tell how like she's like following from her brother's footsteps and like what he does. He's obviously a legend and everybody in the movie knows who Sherlock Holmes is and knows that he's like a really high esteemed detective or investigator, whatever you want to call him. But then we get introduced to Lord Tewksbury, who is a young lord that Enola comes in contact with. And so then the story takes a turn. There's a lot of scenes with them and she's trying to help him out. And then the story kind of moves into 
not just about trying to find her mom, but also this whole part about trying to help this young lord. She finds herself in many pickles that she has to get out of, but she is trained from her mother and has obviously watched her brother do all of his detective works, but essentially the movie's about her trying to solve a mystery, but she's also trying to outsmart her brother so that way he doesn't find her either. So it's kind of this cool dichotomy where, you know, brother taught sister and sister kind of wants to checkmate, but it's not like overbearing where it's like, oh, forget about Sherlock Holmes, like Enola Holmes is like now the, the it detective. That's, it's not that overbearing. It's more of like a story of coming of age. It's, like, it's an adventure story. It's really cute. There are some parts where she like, directly talks to the camera as if she knows that she's being recorded which can come off a little bit cheesy but I kind of thought that they were cute. I've talked to other people who thought it was cheesy but for me I thought that it did kind of like add something to the movie because it, it's like a kids movie. It's not it's not entirely like an adult Sherlock Holmes movie. It's it's that coming of age, teenager, like finding herself kind of movie and applying her skills to the task at hand. And so her addressing the camera didn't really bother me that much, although I can see how it would come off a little bit cheesy. It also did seem like they set this movie up for a sequel, so we'll see if that ends up happening in the coming years or so. But all in all, I think this was a great movie. I think this would be a really great movie for a family. If you had like kids who were like maybe like eight to about like 15 or so, I think that they would find this movie really cute. But yeah, all in all, I think it was great. Love Millie Bobby Brown in this. I hope to see her in more starring roles in movies because I don't want her to be typecast as just Eleven from Stranger Things. Although I love Stranger Things and I love her in that role as well, but she killed it here and I hope to see her do more stuff after this. But that is all I have for you this week, my peeps. So I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And of course, if you guys like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I was recently told that you guys also have to click the little bell thingy so that way you guys get the notification whenever I post a new video. So if you are subscribing, make sure you push that little bell thingy so whenever I upload a video, you guys will be able to get a notification and watch my video. Please also share this with whoever you guys want to watch Noah Holmes with. Zoe the Multipoo would also like to bid herself goodbye for the week. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the wine. Let me know what you guys think of the movie. And until next week, cheers!